Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten and I am here today with a little conversational piece about our youth and how you guys have been lied to. The world has lied to our youth through social media and through a, a lot of other avenues and that's what this topic is today about. It's for the youth, it's about our youth. You guys have been lied to and now not a lot, but some of our youth believe all they got to do is look pristine. All they got to do is look cute. All they got to do is have a nice physical body. And um, and that's all they're going to need to become famous or wealthy or to to have nice things in life. And that is a lie from the pits of hell. And I'm here to tell you guys right now, if you don't put in the work, if you don't get your education, if you don't believe... First of all, you have to believe in yourself. Secondly, you have to work hard to achieve the goals that you want. And you need your education because even if you plan on being this big, um, you, you plan on having this big company or you know you have these big goals and aspirations and you wanna do something major with your life, well, guess what? You're gonna have to know how to run your businesses. You're gonna know have to know accounting and marketing and all of those things that you you have to get these things in college now i'm not telling you guys to go out and and go to a school that's you, you don't have any scholarship money and go to a school that's overly expensive and you got to take out all these loans and so by by time you you graduate college you're in debt i'm not telling nobody to do that i'm saying go somewhere affordable and get a good education and try your best not to take out any loans if your college um if your college has not been taken care of by your parents let's be honest most parents can't afford to pay their their kids college four years the total four years unless they put some money aside but that's not the average family so if you're responsible for paying for college then no you don't want to take all those loans out because then yes it may feel like it was all for nothing you went to school you got now you in thirty thousand dollars worth of student loan debt you're starting your life out in debt so i agree with that you don't want to do it that way that's why most kids are encouraged to while they're in school to study hard to build their gpa and to thrive while they're in school so possibly they can get a scholarship or a full ride even through, through education credits or whatever that's why most parents encourage their children to have a high school career and not just go to school but do something like sports or activities or cheerleading. And even if it's just academia, just, just focus on having such a high GPA that colleges want to bring you to their school. And that'll help you with your college, but college is important. I don't know where this is coming from, but some young children, cause you're still children, when you, until you can take care of yourself, until you can pay for your own rent or your own mortgage or your car note, your insurance, put gas in your car, pay your, you know, all of those things, you're still not an adult. Adults take care of their own business and you can't do that without an education. You can't do that without experience and an education and a focused, strong mind. This world has lied to you. You need more than a pretty face. You need more than a, um, a tight body or whatever you know because you got these 20 year olds getting bbls and it's your body you can do what you want to do i think god made you perfect just the way you are but unless you believe that then all of my talking is in vain you you have to believe how god made you is beautiful and you don't need to get your whole body done at the age of 22. you have to believe that this is how this is going out to the youth but social media has lied to you all they they tell you well you can make it big on youtube yeah there are some people that make it big on youtube but that's one out of maybe a million you know those chances of you making it big on youtube so okay we got all of these and i'm not saying that everybody that make it big on youtube is untalented but you have a lot of people that has they have zero talent and they're on youtube every single day and they're lying to you telling you you can make a million dollars if you do this that or a, a third they're not telling you you got to go to school you got to learn you got to focus you got to study hard 
whatever your gifts or abilities is you have to cultivate those gifts they're not telling you none of that they're lying to you without hard work it'll be hard to make it far now i know there are some people out there that may have they may have been born with a silver spoon in their, their mouths but i'm not talking to those people remember this is restoring ghettos forgotten daughters i'm talking to people that have not had a silver spoon and they've had to work hard for everything that they have so if that's you you done seen your mother work two and three jobs you done seen your dad work two and three jobs you done seen your parents sacrifice then that may, that's not gonna be you you're gonna have to work hard so that you can be better of course because we all parents want our children to do better than us and I tell you the hardest thing in the world for a successful parent to see is their children live beneath them. And I mean beneath as in the parents got their stuff together, they're still thriving, they're still growing, they done raised their children, they they going on trips, they got money tucked away, they done, they paid off their debt. They're living well and they're through raising their children and then their children are slumming it, living with somebody and there's another thing. Stop taking advice for people that ain't never really accomplished anything. When you're going to listen to somebody, make sure you listen to somebody that got their stuff together. And I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad, but you know where you are in your life. If you're not in a really good place, you can't mentor anybody. You have to wait till you're in a good place. Then you mentor those people and help them up, help them upward. Don't keep them on your level if you know that you're settling, if you know that you're living a mediocre lifestyle, and then you want to encourage all the other youth to be the same way. That's selfish. And it's kind of evil. Because we should always want our youth to do better than we are. And that, that means we're going to be motivating them. We're not going to just have, help them have a pity party. We're going to say, no, this is the way you need to be doing it. I know you probably don't agree with me, but I know where this this way of thinking is going to get you in life and i'm talking to the youth i'm talking to the youth that have graduated high school and you know you're tired of school you don't really like school but if you want to actually do something with your life you really need to consider going to college so that you can learn how to be successful and use those tools in your everyday life so you really 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 need to to, to think about that before you decide to take 10 years off. Because you know what? If you are going to go into the workplace and you want a, a six-figure job, guess what? They're hiring those kids fresh out of college. So that way you're young and you're malleable and they can mold you into the person they want you to be for their company to help their company get rich. So, But they want you early. They don't want you after you done been out of school for 20 years. And you say, okay, I'm ready to get it right now. But they looking at the 20 year old that just got out of high school or college. You know, they looking at that college grad that's 22 or 23. They're not looking at the almost 40 year old that then took all those years off exploring possibilities. We got to get this stuff right, right now. We don't get second chances, regardless of what the world may say. We don't get them. When you mess up, you're going to pay for that. It's called consequences. You take 10, 20 years off, and then you decide you want to get your shit together. And then you're putting in all these applications because now, of course, you got your bachelor's degree or your master's degree. But they don't want you because you've aged out of it. That's the truth, and that's the real. And that's why you see a lot of people right now today that have master's degrees, and they're still working two and three jobs to make ends meet. You got to get this stuff early and you got to get it now. So this is a wake up call to our youth that that's on social media, that's scrolling all of these celebrities ch channels. They're not telling you the real. They're not telling you. Some of them may be, but most of them aren't telling you how they went without, how they sacrificed, how they went to school, how they worked hard how they sometimes that they may have been homeless they're not telling you the backstory you just see the glitz and the glam and so that's what you want that's what i want i'm gonna achieve that but you don't have a clue on how you're gonna do it don't let them lie to you 
you got you have to do everything in decency and in order in order to be successful in this world so you got to pull all the clutter out of your mind your heart and your spirit because it's a lot of clutter you fall asleep listening to love and basketball you fall asleep listening to um there's so many other reality shows you listening to this stuff it's programming you and it's all filth it's filth and it's lies trash in trash out i always say guard your gates watch what you're putting in your gates watch who you social you know you socialize with who you can you know talk to watch their lot you know you have to watch that because before you know it you just you know they you're just like them they may have a lot of bad traits they cool people but they have a lot of bad traits guess what before you know it you're gonna develop some of those traits you have to watch who, what company you keep if you want to be headed upward you can't keep hanging out with the people at the bottom and what i mean by at the bottom because i don't think nobody's better than the other but there are some people that don't want anything in life and they're perfectly fine with living a mediocre life you can't hang out with those people if you eventually want to be up here you got to hang out with people that's already up here or that's moving towards being up there and they're thinking and their attitude and how they act and how they behave and how they treat other people pay very close attention by the way of how somebody treats their mother the person that would brought them life the person that sacrificed and worked hard for them pay very close attention to those people because those people can never be your true friends if they can't even respect their 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 mother or their father they could you're nothing to them if they can't respect their the person that gave them life think about that so this is the eye opener for our youth i encourage you to be the best versions of yourself but i'm gonna tell you it's gonna take a lot of hard work and a lot of de dedication and it's not just gonna be thrown in your lap success the most successful people in this world will tell you how hard it was and how long it took them to make it and what they needed the tools that they needed to make it so even people that may have grown up with a silver spoon in their mouth some of their parents will not carry them it's like this is my wealth this is my riches now you have to get your own so they still got to work hard and, and, and go up there so I ain't challenge uh, I ain't challenge my people, the people that we know this shit ain't hard. This we know this shit is not easy. So we're not gonna be living in this fairy tale land, thinking all we gotta do is look cute and smile for the camera, thinking that's gonna take care of us. It's not gonna pay your rent. It's not gonna pay your mortgage. It's not gonna put gas in your car. It's not gonna pay your car note. It's not gonna put food on your table. I don't care. I know that you're beautiful and I know that you're handsome. But that is not enough in this world that wants to take advantage of you because of your beauty. It's not going to be enough. You got to use your mind. Start using your mind. Okay, I'm done. But I thought that needed to be said because I see a lot of our youth. They getting mad at their parents because their parents are saying, hey, I see some things that ain't right here. Okay, you done graduated high school, but what you gonna do for the rest of your life? You can't live on me for the rest of your life. And if I carry you from when you graduate high school until you finish college, I'm good with that. But I gotta see you growing and making good grades and I'm gonna help you along the way. But whenever I see you just sitting and not doing nothing, we got issues. We got issues because you got a whole life to be thinking and you got a whole life to think about where you're going to get, where you're going to get. And we don't have forever to do that. And that's what this is about. This is about uh, young adults taking accountability and corrective criticism. Nobody's judging you, but they can see you going off to the left. Like you were, you was right over here where you needed to be. And then all of these, all of this goop that's coming from the world that's lying to you and all the people that are lying to you is making you feel like, man, I'm working too hard. I'm studying too hard. This is draining me. This isn't the way life's supposed to be. And then you start doing this and veering off to the left. And then your parents see you veering off to the left, then they gonna try to bring you back in. But that's hard to stay there doing what you gotta do. You wanna be lackadaisical and just do anything. You can't do that under your parents' roof. 
not somebody that wants you to do something with your life. So then you're going to go off and be, you may leave, you may leave home and go off with somebody that's okay with you not doing anything. That person don't love you if they can see you sit there and fail. They see you got all this potential and they want you to not do anything. That's not love. That's enabling. They're enablers. It's a bunch of people not doing nothing with their life because they had a whole bunch of people enabling their bullshit. Excuse my French. If you're religious, you don't want to you don't want to follow my channel because every once in a while I'm gonna call stuff for what it really is. It's it's a lot of hard work and dedication and focus to get to where you want to be. And some people, their goal is to become millionaires. You ain't going to do it scrolling social media channels. You, I'm sorry, but you're not going to do it. You want to make a million dollars? You got to put in a lot of hard work and dedication. It's going to have to be something different about you that's going to set you apart from all the other people. There's so many people out there wanting to do the same thing. What's going to make you different? What's going to make you stand out? And now I'm going, because I'm almost done, but you got to get, you got to do your work. You got to do your work, sis or bro. You got to do your work. The, that Those mommy issues that you have, brother, you got to handle that. Those daddy issues that you have, sister, you got to handle that. Or it's going to handle you. And then it's going to make you lash out at the closest people that's around you. Because you mad at a person you can't get to. You want to know why you can't get to them? Because they don't care enough about themselves. So they definitely can't care about their children. You got to let that go. You got to heal from that and grow and become a, a responsible adult. I don't care if you're 18, you're 19, you could even be 21. If you're not doing adult things, you're not an adult yet, period. So this is tough love coming from a mother. You guys got to get it together and stop letting the world lie to you. Instead of being on social media for two and three hours scrolling the phone, you could have been studying for two or three hours. You could have been reading a book. You need to start reading more. You have to read and study and show yourself approved. Read about your ancestors, about what they've been through so that you could have doors open to you now that wasn't open to them. Read about your ancestors. Read about slavery. Read about all of the civil rights movement, everything that people did to pave a way for you to have these, these doors of opportunity open to you. Read about that. So you see all the hard work and sacrifice and dedication that the people before you put in so that you can have an easier life. Don't write that off. Don't write your history off. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all writing off y'all history. Y'all writing off all the sacrifices that your parents have made for you so that you can have an easier way. It doesn't mean a damn thing to you. Then you wonder why you can't get your life together. You have to be able to respect and honor your ancestors and the people before you, the people that paved that way. Because whenever you, you treat them as though none of that matters, then you lose your own sense of purpose and your own identity because they're connected to you and you don't even understand that. Life don't have meaning because you have written off all the blood, sweat, and tears that your ancestors put into to open more of the doors that are open and afforded to you. People have taken care of you for 20 years of your life or more and you can't even speak with a kind word to them or you can't say you know what thank you i appreciate you that's called a sense of entitlement and it's selfishness and there's also a word if even if you don't believe in god it's a it's a word called karma karma knows everybody's address and nobody's exempt whatever you reap you shall sow whatever you put out there it's gonna come back to you so think about that before you write the people off that sacrifice for you. I'm done. I, I love you guys. I know that you are special. I know that you all are beautiful. You all are handsome. But I'm telling you now, the world has lied to you. If you think you're not going to have to put in hard work to get the things that you want. They have lied to you. I'm done. Bye-bye. Y'all have a good day.